come here often? Thanks for checking back in. Um, basically today I'm just going to talk about the books that are on my TBR or to be read. Um, kind of a throwback with this video. I feel like people don't do TBRs as much as they used to, but my TBR isn't like a monthly TBR. It's definitely more of a TBR for like this month, next month, whenever I end up reading these, whether it's in the next couple days, the next couple weeks next couple years, um, but hopefully within the next couple months. I tend to read books a little bit slower um, on the average. There's the occasional I'll sit down like I did with Song of Achilles where I will sit down and kind of just like read it in like one or two days um, within like a number of hours at a time because I physically can't not read it. Um, but yeah, that ha hasn't happened in like a little bit except for with my five star read of last year, which is If We Were Villains. Um, I did an interesting thing with this where I like I binge read it on my phone and then it got returned to the library um, and basically I ended up putting it down and picking it up like a couple months later at a bookstore buying the physical copy and then reading it all within like a couple days. First book I'm going to talk about is Acts of Service. I'm going to put it up here because I don't remember who wrote it. Basically I started reading it as an audiobook which I don't usually do but um, I've gotten into audiobooks the last like year or two I would say. Um, and it's like a really fun thing for me to do like I tend to listen to them while I'm in transit so like if I'm traveling somewhere I'll like pop in my headphones and just kind of like listen to an audiobook and I find that if I do that when I get home I'll like continue listening to it and usually I'll end up finishing it a lot faster than like a normal book obviously because someone's reading it to you and I don't have to like sit down and only do that I can like make dinner or something like that um, but yeah I really like audiobooks definitely like get into that it's a really good way to get back into reading when I was in a reading slump like around like a year or two ago um, I listened to my year of rest and relaxation actually as an audiobook and it really got me back into reading so that was really fun definitely suggest um, but yeah I'm reading acts of service right now I'm only like an hour and a half in and it's like a six hour audiobook so it's pretty short actually considering I've read some other audiobooks that are like 12 hours it's about a woman kind of like thinking about her sexuality and like social structures around that um, I don't want to tell you too much because I feel like it's good to go in not knowing and the book kind of like reveals itself to you very like blatantly as you're reading it and I feel like that's kind of like the joy of it. It's like not really fully knowing where it's going but it's like telling you everything. Um, so yeah, that's my first read. My next current read is a physical book. <laughs> um, I've been reading Happy Hour by uh, Marlo Granados. Uh, I'm really really enjoying it. It takes place in New York City. It's with two girls that are traveling to New York City and they kind of have to find odd jobs and like survive during the summer that they've decided to live there and they're definitely like party girls they like to go out they like to like do different things and meet new people and it's really fun I it almost feels like I'm reading like one of those classic novels that kind of just feel like you're talking to an old lady about her like escapades back in the day um but it's actually very modern almost like I feel like everything I'm reading I'm like recognizing being in New York City like I'm enjoying the references but yeah it's also about their relationship with each other and like the people that they meet um I really like the like best friend relationship and the way that it's depicted because I feel like you, there definitely is like a singular narrator and it's interesting to see things through her eyes and then also recognize like where her faults are within it um and the faults within their very close relationship which brought these two girls to New York City um yeah I really enjoy it I am around halfway through I'm on page 173. This is also the first time I've kind of implemented this tabbing system in like a while, like literally since high school. When I was in high school, I used to like put like a little, oh, I also love the inside cover, but I used to do like a color coded system for my books that I used to have to read for school, but I hated doing it for books that I was reading for pleasure. But this one isn't color coded, but um, it is the first one I'm implementing this little like tab system, basically. Totally enjoying though. Next up I have a book that I heard Uncarly talking about on her channel. Shout out Uncarly, love her. And um, yeah, it's, it was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. It's called The Great Believers and it's by Rebecca McKay. Um, I really am excited to read this because I've heard great things about it. Like Uncarly literally like raved about it. So yeah, it's part of it takes place in 1985 and the other part takes place like 30 years later and it's about a man living through like the AIDS epidemic and how it affects him and like his his friends that are so close that they're like family 
Um, and then 30 years later, it's about a woman who has to track down her daughter in Paris who is trying to join a cult. And those two storylines literally like engrossed me so much. I was so interested in both of them. So I'm really excited to read this. Definitely, it's probably gonna take me a while because I know it's gonna be like pretty heavy, but I'm very excited to read it. Hopefully soon I will finish Mona Awad's new book. Actually start it because I haven't started it at all, but it's called All's Well. I feel like a lot of people talk about this or have heard about it, especially when it first came out. I read Bunny, I really liked Bunny, so that's why I wanted to check this out. Um, my thoughts on Bunny are pretty like, incoherent but i did enjoy it overall um you can check out my story graph i'm pretty sure i rated it on there if not i'll do it after i post this yeah definitely check me out on there <laughs> uh, this book is about a woman living with a chronic illness and she also is directing a shakespeare play um i know it's very dark i know it's a lot about like female pain so i'm excited to read that not about female pain but about the expression of it so yeah also love the cover i literally stare at it all the time that book and this book are kind of books that I feel like I need to finish during winter. Um, they're both kind of like school oriented, um, particularly All's Well because of like the Shakespeare element. I know that it's gonna remind me of um, If We Were Villains and I really wanted to like keep that streak going. And honestly, like Happy Hour is kind of like an interruption because it's this very like summary book. Um, anyway, hopefully after that I can read The Idiot by Leif Bettiman, also a Pulitzer Prize finalist. Um, I've heard about it a lot. Obviously I feel like it's very very popular and I know her new book came out a little while ago and I also would like to read that because I've been hearing such good things but I think I have to get through this first it honestly feels like like an epic that I'm like missing out on it definitely is like literally called sprawling epic so yeah it's about a a uh, woman who goes to Harvard in 1995. It's almost like a coming of age story, I'm pretty sure, like a Buildings Roman, you could say. Uh, again, I'm excited to go in kind of not knowing a whole lot. I don't wanna have specific expectations for the plot, so we'll see, hopefully I can do that soon. So I got this for Christmas this year from my dear friend Liz, and um, it is called The Universe of Us by Lang Leaf, and I'm, it's a poetry book and uh, hopefully I can kind of like work in more poetry books that I read in full into my rotation I guess but basically I started kind of getting into poetry around like a year ish ago and um, I'm not like super well versed in it but I took a class called uh, American feminist poetry and that got me into more American feminist poetry and just poetry in general um, I'm a Ann Carson fan so I've got that but I am not super well versed in like contemporary poetry. So this is definitely, it was like a perfect gift for me because I've really been wanting to read something like this. Um, with poetry books, I tend to kind of read like one or two poems and then literally like put it down and forget about it for like months and months at a time. But hopefully I'll start this and then just kind of like at least get through half of it all at once, or if not all at once, like within the next couple days. I'm planning on doing this thing where I kind of like replace my phone for a book. And every time I want to check my phone, I actually like, read like something and I feel like this would be perfect for that because it will give you that like quick oh I just read this you know what I mean like it'll be good to carry around last on my TBR list is this book that is a penguin classic I picked it up for six dollars at a little bookstore that was like vintage books what drew me to it was obviously the cover and I was kind of in my if we were villains like reading headspace so I was like I need this um and basically it's about like a woman who moves to Paris. It takes place in the 1840s and I'm really interested to see where like that goes. It's kind of about her like moving through, it's it's the classic like aristocratic, like, oh my God, who's she gonna marry? Who are her suitors? What are the things? That's at least that's what I'm getting from the back. And I think there's also some like class commentary that I'm really interested in. Hopefully I think with this one, I'm gonna try to binge read it within a couple of days because with classics, I tend to pick them up, read them, for like a couple of chapters get really into it and then totally forget that i ever even started it um and then i have to keep kind of like going back and like rereading passages i've already read because of the like style of the writing um but i haven't started reading this yet hopefully it will be different and i'll kind of be able to just force myself to get through it because i am really interested in it um also i've been trying to cut down on the books that i'm buying without like being committed to reading them so because i kind of picked this up on a whim um i'm definitely have to like actually read it <laughs> okay yeah that's the end of my little book haul slash tbr i've had some of these books for a while other ones are like more recent purchases um definitely kind of an aspirational buyer in that sense but i think 
having a little list and like keeping this stack like around will really force me to like get into it and like finish as many as I can and like enjoy that process. Thanks for listening to my TBR. Um, it was super fun. See you next time.